Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy. Welcome to Android Note Taking Applications Development Tutorial Series. So in the first part of this series, we look into what are the things that we're going to develop and how our final applications look like in the real device. So there I showed you guys what are the things that we're going to develop, what are the features that our, this, our note taking application is going to have. So if you haven't watched that video, you can check the playlist link in the description and from there you can go and watch it so that you will get the proper idea of what we are actually going to build in this series. So let's get started with the Android Studio here. So in this part, from this part, we are actually going to start the programming our note taking application. So I'm going to go ahead and start my Android Studio. And now I'm going to create an Android Studio project. And we'll start with the empty activity as always. Click next. And the application name is Fire Notes. Okay, specify the locations if you want to have different locations here. And the minimum API le level is 23. That is Marshmallow. And we, we are going to select the language as Java because we are using Java as a primary language here. So click on finish. And once the build is finished, we are ready to start programming our application. The build is finished. Now we can actually start programming our applications. So I have divided this application into various parts so that it will be easy for us to follow along. So in the beginning, I'm gonna connect up my application to the Firebase. So we'll connect our this particular Android application to a Firebase account. So you need to have a Firebase account with you. I'm just gonna minimize this here and i'm gonna go ahead and connect this to the firebase first since we are going to use the firebase as a primary database and authentication services for our applications it is important to have the firebase connected with us so i'm gonna go ahead and use firebase assistant from the android studio tools and firebase from here i can connect my application to the firebase so here you can select any of these i'm gonna select firebase authentication Click on that and you will have these options to uh, connect our application to Firebase. So I'm going to go ahead and click to uh, click and connect to Firebase. If you are, are just starting out with this Firebase here, it will going to open a new browser and there you can select your Gmail account to create a new Firebase project. And simply by selecting this create new Firebase project, you can create that and you just need to click on connect to Firebase and it will connect your Firebase project to this particular Android project. The Firebase only allows two projects for a free tier account. So I have already created two projects in mine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the, um, this particular Firebase project to the existing one. So I'm gonna select one of these uh, test Firebase account, okay? And I'm gonna go and click on connect to Firebase. But you can create new Firebase project because you don't have any other Firebase project created before. Okay, so it will take few seconds to connect this particular application to the Firebase project. Okay, now you can see it is displaying that Firebase project is created and connected locally to my applications. Now we are ready to add this authentication to our applications. So just for a starter, I'm gonna add this Firebase authentication to this particular Android applications. So click on accept changes. And I'm gonna add few more, few other things that we require. That is Firestore. So I'm gonna go here. Once this syncing is uh, finished, I'm gonna add this uh, Cloud Firestore to our applications because we are going to use Cloud Firestore to store all the nodes. And we'll also use Firebase authentication to authenticate the user using email and passwords, right? So let's add this as well. So click on accept changes. Once the sync is done, we are ready to go. Okay, now uh, I can close this Firebase Assistant from here. And if I go to the builder gradle of this particular applications, here you'll see all the dependencies that we have just added through Google Firebase Assistant. So these are for the Fire Stores, Fire Auth, and so on. But guys, you can notice here, this Firebase um, version is outdated now. So it is asking me to change it. So it's better that we change here manually because sometimes when we, when we use Firebase Assistant to add these dependencies, it's going to add the older version here. So it is a little tips that you should keep in your mind. Whenever um, you use Firebase Assistant, you may get a older version of Firebase dependencies. And sometimes due to these dependencies, we'll get error in the 
building process when we will try to run this application. So I'm going to replace this version number here with the 19.2.0 and here 21.4.0 is available. Now I need to sync this Gradle project here. So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to run these sample applications. So let me go here. I have my device connected here. If you don't have any physical Android device to run these applications, you can go to the AVD manager and create a new Android emulator and you can run this application in that emulator. But make sure that that emulator do supports Google Play Store or Google APIs because we do need Google APIs to run Firebase services in particular emulator okay but if you are using real devices that's not important for you because the phone already comes with the google play store and its apis so select your device from here and i'm gonna run this application and when you are running this for the first time it may take a little bit longer than usual so let's wait for that okay the android application is running in my device now so now let's go ahead and add the navigation drawer in this particular application because i have already created a video on navigation drawer before and that i have uploaded in the channel so i'm not gonna go into the details and explain each and every component but if you want to learn more about navigation drawer and how to create it how it works and what are the components that we are gonna need you can uh, i'll link that video on the description so you go ahead and watch that video but uh if you just want to follow along with this video you can because i'm just gonna explain all the basic things that is that are required to create the navigation draw okay so let's minimize this and now so to create the navigation draw we need few components like uh, we need navigation toolbar that is displayed in the uh that will replace the default toolbar and we'll display our own custom toolbar because we need that because we want a hamburger sign to be displayed in the toolbar so next thing we need is a navigation drawer header that is displayed in the uh, drawer header in the place of drawer header and we also need a menu and we are going to uh, integrate all those things together using the nav navigation view okay okay first of all i'm gonna go to the layout section of our android Android project and I'm going to create few layouts. So first thing we need is a content main. This content main will have the root element as a constant layout. Click OK and it, it will create this content main for us. And now I'm going to create one more layout for navigation header. OK, click on OK. And uh, Inside this content main, I'm going to add few components and that is first thing we need is a toolbar. So here I'm going to add toolbar and make sure it is androidx.appcompat.widget.toolbar, not the other one. And uh, our toolbar will have layout width of match parent and we need to set the layout height, especially for this toolbar. So I'm going to use attribute uh, properties. Okay now i'm gonna give id for this id is toolbar and here i'm gonna specify the background as well so i'm gonna give color primary dark as the background of this and finally close the now i need to specify the constraint here because our root element is constant layout and if you don't specify the constraint it's just going to hide from the our root view when we run these particular applications Okay, so I'm going to set this here and make this all zero. So this is our toolbar. Now in the root uh, layout, we'll have the recycler view because we need to use recycler view to display the data from the uh, database when we uh, create start creating the nodes. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to add one recycler view here and uh, we'll use that later in the video, maybe in the next part. Okay, so but recycle view do not come with the Android project when we create it. So we need to manually add the dependencies to our application. So I'm going to click on this small download button here and add the required dependencies to our project. And while we are at it, I'm going to go to the containers and I'm going to add the card view as well as the navigation view. I'm going to add card view. And it's going to build the applications again. Similarly, I'm going to add the navigation view that we need to um, bind the navigation header and navigation menu to display in the navigation draw. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Don't confuse yourself now. Okay, I'm going to add it. 
and when we add the navigation view it will add the material design to our application so that we can start using the navigation draw because you know that navigation draw is part of the material design so okay so those were the dependencies we needed for this now i'm going to go to the nav nav header.xml file that we have just created and i'm going to design the navigation header so uh, if you remember our navigation header in the first video that i showed you okay i'm gonna open up the uh, final application here and show you guys what i'm talking about so this is the navigation header so in the navigation header we are just going to display some banner in the background and title of the note and the uh, little quotes here at the username and the email and these are the menus that we are going to use so first uh, here in the nav header.xml file i'm going to design this part okay so to, to design this part i need this image here so I'm going to go, uh, go ahead in the directory and I'm going to copy this image from my directory that I have downloaded. Okay, so here I have lots of uh, material design background here. So if you want to download this same uh, background, I, I'll leave the link to the description and you can go to that website and download it. Here I'm going to use this 18 number image. So I'm going to copy it from here. Copy and go back to the Android Studio. In the drawable folder, I'm going to paste it. Say, uh, select the drawable, click on OK and I'm going to give cover as a name for this particular image. Okay, so now I'm going to set the background for this linear layout or uh, maybe I'll just change that to the uh, constant layout. I think I'm going to add constant layout inside it. So let's add the constant layout, match parent, match parent for now. Okay, now inside this. Uh, actually, I'm going to set the background for this constant layout. So, drawable cover. Okay. So, this is the background. And uh, instead of giving this match parent height and width, I'm going to give the custom. So, uh, let's make let's make this layout width as a match parent because we want this to have full width that it has here. But in the height, I'm going to give as 250 dp and we'll see that is okay or not so it seems fine for now if uh, we need to make change we'll come back here and we'll make change later in the video okay so this is the header so our header will have the title images uh, title and quotes so i'm gonna add drag and drop the text view for the title i'm gonna set the constraint Okay, uh, it will take you sec a few minutes to design this. So I'm going to pause this video and come back. But you'll get the general idea what I'm, I was talking about. So I'll also show you the XML after th our design is done. Okay, so I'll come back in a second. Okay, guys, I have designed this uh, layout that we need here. So this is the uh, title of our uh, app. And this is the code. So it says take your notebook with you. And this is the username. And this is the email. So this username and email has the ID as user display name and the user. These fields are replaceable because we are going to update the username and the email with the signed in users, username and email later in the video. Okay. Now we need the menu for this. Okay. So this is the header part. It is done. Uh, now I'm going to go to the resources here and I'm going to create new menu resource file. So we need menu for our navigation drawer. So let me do that. So click create new Android resource file here, select menu from the resource type. And here I'm going to give name as the nav menu and click on OK. Close this unnecessary files for now. And in the menu, uh, OK, let's see our final app. So our menu have this uh, section wise menu buttons here. So this is the general section. Here we have notes, add new and sync notes. And in the support section, we have rate us and share app and the logout section, we have this logout button. So I'm going to go here and design that first. So let me go to the text of this menu resource file here. And here I'm going to add the item. So first I'm going to uh, specify the section for the menus that we are going to create. So title first one is general. Okay. So this is the general section and I'm going to copy and paste the same thing two times here general okay this is support and the last one is logout okay 
Now inside this menu item, I'm going to create one more menu tag. And inside this, I can add the new item and that will be displayed as the item of that particular section. Okay. So item name is first one is notes and it will have, uh, okay. Let me close this like that. And it will have ID and ID is notes. And similarly, actually it will be much, it will be much better if I add the menu from here. So inside this general, we have menu and inside that we have notes, right? So I'm going to add one more menu item that is for create node and I'm going to give ID or add node. And similarly, third option is sync node. So whenever user click on this, we'll let them to, uh, we'll let them go to the authentication activity where they can create account or log into the login with their uh, account that they have, they already have. So I'm going to just give ID as a sync and let's give the name as sync notes. Okay. In the support, we have two menu items that is rate our applications and the share button. So I'm going to add this inside.